as men, even though the focus of my talk today is about men, I'm it's about women. Sorry, I'm not having my coffee. <laughs> it's about women and the importance of money and how we should manage money, how we should be smart around money, especially as we grow older. Unfortunately, a lot of women have been caught in a terrible trap where you know they they've lost a lot of money they they and investments that they've worked on and that they've built over several years just because they have not noticed um, red flags that um that were kind of staring at them during courtship and they found themselves in marriages and relationships where things have been really 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 difficult for them my heart really goes out to these women so today we're going to be delving in and looking at that i'm just going to let my other guests know i guess my guests in north america are probably in church but my nigerian guests i hope they can join me asap we are live on facebook this is dr t and i'm here with uzo uzo is a great friend Egeri Onu. we've been friends since we were before we were teenagers actually so we're talking at least 40 years of friendship and Uzo runs a platform where she's not afraid to take on difficult topics she's not afraid to discuss you know topical issues that a lot of people probably shy away from she has a wonderful platform on facebook if you haven't followed her please follow her Uzo, if you want to share your link with us so they know awesome oh thank you Toby. you're welcome we'll do that. Some, you're welcome it's 10 minutes past 11. i'm always so cognizant of cognizant of time so i'll say i hope people will join as we go ahead but even if they don't this um discussion is going to be posted and then they can um watch watch our discussion so so i don't know if you've been seeing a few of my posts but basically this yeah. month, November, I've been talking a lot about money. And this comes not just because I want to talk about it, but because I've also been a victim where I haven't watched out for some red flags that um, would have cost me a lot financially. I'm glad that I, I was scathed, but not destroyed um, from what happened to me as a person when I found myself in a relationship where there, there was a clear imbalance when it came to finances and um i didn't really make the right decisions there i've learned from my mistake and i'm using this platform to to help other women and to warn them so that they don't fall into the same um pot of soup as it were that i found myself in right so i'm going to yield the stage to you uzo because i'm prior to this talk where looking at what how important is money we know money is very important we know money does a lot of things but what are some of the mistakes that some women have made or let's let's just start about the importance of money in the life of anybody and secondly in the life of a mature single woman and when i say the importance of money i want us to look at both sides just so, so there's a balance so when a woman is looking for a relationship and she's at a place where she's not financially capable hmm. or on her own that's that's one part of it the flip part is a woman that is financially independent financially secure financially comfortable what are the dynamics what are the things that we really need to look out for um when we're thinking about relationships thanks Susan. right so thank you for thank you i'll say that um the things that we should first of all the reason why I, I run my platform is because we have a quiet um a silent culture where we don't speak mm. and before i started it i was asking myself and i was saying to friends i don't understand why our elders kept quiet about their experiences mm. and allowed things to continue to happen as if you should just learn from experience yeah. by the time you learn from experience you're already more than halfway through your years on earth and so what is left is the years that you have before you leave this earth why should a person's life go before them where they take 
circumstances and they make choices that work against them mm. whereas if we had taken time you know so the problem i find is that our educational system is geared towards theory and a lot of things that that should be there are missing from the curriculum mm. and so yes so if these are this this type of thing that you're talking about now these mm. are the things that we should have as part of our education mm -hmm. in schools and actually starting from ele elementary level yeah. you know this thing so that the ideas are planted early we plant those ideas early and we grow up with them because the person who hasn't been hearing something and they suddenly start hearing it at this point where they're trying to make a choice it's not going to mean the same mm -hmm. thing it's like foreign information yep. but if you were if you were taught the same way that you're taught to brush your teeth have your bath mm -hmm. that this is part of mm -hmm. life Right, because I find that even today, when I I say to someone, "This thing you're doing, you're going in the wrong direction," yep. you know, they will argue mm -hmm. until it happens, mm -hmm. right? But they're arguing. I understand their arguments because they're they, This is what they have. This is not something that they've been used to. Exactly. It's like you're giving me new information, mm -hmm. right? But we've been taught all sorts of things and haven't been taught that. Mm -hmm. And so romance is romance. Relationships is one of the biggest areas that we should be learning and teaching from the time your person is a child, Absolutely. right? Yeah. But instead, we go to school, we don't learn those things. We learn information about romance and relationships from watching television. And those Absolutely. things are fiction. Absolutely. Other people's imagination mm -hmm. of what they wish, what they yeah. wish. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, uh, Richard. What they wish yeah. would happen, right? Yeah. And people believe in, say, love at first sight, unconditional love, of love will conquer everything and those things are, are true love will conquer everything but there is a uh, it's, it's a double-edged thing love will conquer everything if you're working with someone who is also committed to right? making that right mm -hmm. conquering everything yeah. with you because yeah. if you and i are in a relationship so like, mm. or, 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 or myself and richard you know if you're in a relationship mm. and i believe that love will conquer everything there is no amount of knocking my head against the wall that's going to conquer anything with richard who came in there with the full intention of using my resources yep, for himself absolutely. so all my love is i will be giving and giving and giving and he'll be taking and yep. taking and taking and in fact he will say to me you're not giving me mm -hmm. enough and i'll say but i gave you that, that last month yep. i gave you that six months ago and he'll say but i need something now and because in my mind i'm thinking okay. that love will conquer okay. all yeah. love is unconditional yep. i keep doing more yep. you know yeah. because those are the things that I, i've heard and have those are the things that have sunk yeah. into my spirit from the time i was a child so the earlier the earlier we learn these things mm. the better for us Absolutely. right yeah yeah and when i talk people tell me that I, i'm so strict and i'm so factual you have to be factual but i am also very romantic Absolutely. i am very emotional mm -hmm. but i realized that my emotions have to be balanced with facts there is no point being emotional and enjoying all the emotions and then get into a place where, where <laughs> I'm about to get Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. And un unfortunately, a lot of women have been slaughtered, just taking a, a, a cue from what you've just said, because they have grown up with this mentality that it's all about you giving all and you giving all and you giving all. And I feel that the financially secure, mature woman is actually at a greater risk because if you're a young teenager in your early 20s and you're dating a gentleman, it's like both of you are starting from ground zero. Thank you so much for joining us, Richard and Amuwa. Um, thank you so much. You're welcome to this show. And we're just looking at some of the financial challenges and traps that mature women can fall into. So going back to my question, we find as mature women that uh, if you're starting from ground zero and you're young, you know, you're just starting out your life. It's understandable. No one is expecting you to bring in a lot of money into the relationship. But I think that there is there are certain peculiarities with the older, more financially independent woman. And that's really what I'd like us to talk about. What we find, and I'm actually a victim, and that's why I'm so passionate about this. What we find is a man that comes into your life ticking all the love boxes, ticking all the emotional boxes, and unfortunately, a lot of women fall for that. And they don't even feel 
that the man is really interested in what they have because most of the time these men present themselves bigger and larger and better than they actually are and they know the buttons to press and what you find is once they get to you they gain your trust then you find their real agenda opening up in your face 